governor sends his regrets for not being able to be here, and he sent the proclamation. Give me a second to read. To all to whom these presents shall come, whereas the celebration of Hanukkah is a time to recite blessings, enjoy food, family, traditions, and display the menorah to commemorate the Hanukkah miracle. And whereas acts of kindness, goodness, and light can illuminate the world and dispel the darkness that may arise in the absence of such light. And whereas on December 2nd, 2018, a grand menorah lighting will be held in Louisville at the beginning of Hanukkah, the Festival of Lights, where the entire community joins together to pledge acts of light and goodness to overwhelm the darkness. Now, therefore, I, Matthew G. Bevan, Governor of the Commonwealth of Kentucky, do hereby proclaim December 2nd, 2018 as Unite for Light Day in Kentucky, done at the Capitol, etc., etc. So as you know, this night is not just a night of looking towards the events that happened in the year 165 BCE, but we're also looking back at the recent events that have befallen both our city and our people, both in Pittsburgh and the shooting in the synagogue and here, right next to everyone's neighborhood, right here in Louisville, senseless acts of hate. And we know the way to counter darkness is with light. And we've asked representatives in the entire spectrum of our community to light a memorial candle for those that have been taken from us and in hope that the flame will ignite within all of us the fire of God, the fire of love, and we can dispel darkness permanently. Good evening. My name is Rabbi Michael Walk. I'm the rabbi of Knesset Israel Congregation, and I represent the Louisville Board of Rabbis and Cantors. I'm lighting this memorial candle in memory of Joyce Steinberg, who was murdered in Pittsburgh. As an act of light to dispel darkness, together with my congregation, this week we commit to feeding the homeless. My name is Pastor Bob Rogers from the Evangel World Prayer Center, and also representing Christians United for Israel. I'm here to light a candle in memory of Richard Godfrey, and we commit to dispel darkness through a gift to the synagogue of the Tree of Life in Pittsburgh and also for community service here in Louisville. Hi, my name is Matt Goldberg. I represent the Jewish Federation of Louisville. I'm here to light this candle in memory of Vicki Lee Jones, who was killed here in Louisville at Kroger. You know, you know, a lot of people are afraid to express their faiths. They're afraid to express their religion. Jews in Europe are afraid to admit that they're Jewish. I commit to fighting to end all that in whatever way that I possibly can. candle in memory of Rose Malinger. I commit to compassion and humility as an act of light to dispel the darkness. Good evening. My name is Charles Booker. I am representative elect for Kentucky's 43rd district. I am here on behalf of my family and families from Chickasaw Park all the way to Indian Hills and across this commonwealth. And I am standing here to light a candle for Cecil Rosenthal. And I commit to leading with love and standing for humanity and empowering the voices of the unheard and marginalized from the West End of Louisville all across our commonwealth in this country as an act of light to dispel the darkness.
My name is Rabbi Shmuley Litvin. I'm representing Chabad of Kentucky. I'm lighting a candle in memory of David Rosenthal. And I'm committing to increasing acts of education for all ages to bring light and warmth to our entire city and state. Good evening. My name is Gas Litter. My name is Momo Sussman. We are we here are at representing Weevil Jewish Day School. We are lighting this candle in memory of Jerry Rabinowitz. We commit to Abbas Yisrael loving our fellow as an act of light to dispel the darkness. My name is Muhammad Babur. I'm representing Muslim community of Louisville. I'm lighting this candle in memory of Ms. Bernice Simon. And I commit myself to promote compassion to the roots of our city and get rid of this hatred which is eating us like a mold. And I hope that this act of light will dispel the darkness which is surrounding us. I am Rabbi Nadia Saritsky, Vice President of Mission with Jewish Hospital. I'm Debbie Bolton. I'm Regional Director at Rural State for Jewish Hospital. Martha Mather, and I am here from Our Lady of Peace. We are lighting this candle in memory of Sylvan Simon, and we commit to bringing wellness, healing, and hope to all especially the underserved, as an act of light to dispel the darkness. Good evening. My name is Kelly Watson. I'm here representing my family, and I'm honoring lighting this candle in memory of my father, Maurice Stout. I commit to continuing to fight against racial hatred and for racial healing and reconciliation. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Jessica Hines and I am here representing the Hillel of Louisville. We are lighting this candle in memory of Daniel Stein and we commit to furthering the education of who we are and who we, what we truly stand for as an act of light to dispel the darkness. I'm Steve Conrad. I'm here representing the Louisville Metro Police Department, and I'm lighting this candle in memory of Melvin Wax. I commit to do what I can to work with the men and women of the Louisville Police Department and with all of you to do what we can to make Louisville the safer city. Good evening, my name is Lisa Day, and I'm here representing St. Stephen Baptist Church where Reverend Dr. Kevin W. Cosby is the pastor. I'm lighting this candle in memory of Irving Younger. I commit to make an effort to love and respect all people, to advocate for inclusion and inclusion behaviors, and to stand against social injustice as an act of light to dispel the darkness.
gonna switch off. What a beautiful response to tragedy. Instead of cowering to the darkness, Louisville dignitaries have stood up and say no. There won't be a place for racism and hatred and evil in our community. Evil has no port in the storm in Louisville. I thank each and every one of you for coming here tonight and lending your flame your goodness and your light to dispel those acts of darkness. So I had an idea that I wanted to share with you, and one that I decided I can't do on my own, and I'm going to need your help. I thought how beautiful it was that these leaders not only said something nice and attended, but they did something more. They each made a commitment to do good, an act of goodness. And I thought, the perpetrators of evil have lost because they tried to shut down goodness, to snuff out beauty, and instead, 13 beautiful acts were done just now on behalf of those people who were taken from us. And then I had this wild thought. What would happen if instead of just one deed for each person, we did five or even 10? Imagine 10 good deeds for each one of those people, 130 good deeds. If anyone thinks that's a good idea, please call back to me tonight for a light. Hello, are you ready? Just hold I can't it. hear you. Hold it steady. Thank you very much. Take turns. Just hold it steady. And then I got to thinking, 10 good deeds. What would happen if we got 20 or 30 or 50 good deeds for each one of those people? Is that even possible? If anyone else okay, thinks okay. it's possible, please call out Unite for Life. Unite for Life.
keep it square like that, you see? Wow. There you go, perfect. So I thought about it. And I said, I gotta think bigger. And I thought maybe the right number would be 100 good deeds. Yeah. 100 acts of flight for each one of those people. 1,300 acts of light, and I said no. I'm on the wrong path. And I made a commitment. My goal over the next 12 months, between tonight and December 22nd next year, when we come back to like the Menorah here again, is 13,000 acts of light in memory of those 13 individuals. And if you think we can do this together, I don't need you to say United for Life. What I need you to do is pick up your phone. Does anyone have a phone? If you can pick up your phone right now and type the following, Unite, the number four, Light.com. Let's do it together. We'll type in unite the number four light.com. Has anyone found it yet? If you type in unite the number four light.com, I'll read with you. In a world darkened by sadness and pain, when tragedy after tragedy has befallen us, what can we do to make things better? Answer is, unite for life. Commit to do a random act of goodness and kindness and add life to the world. The combined illumination of all of those good deeds will light up the darkness and help make the world a place of peace and goodness. My friends, please add your light to this growing list. It's very easy where it says name, type in your name. And he 
got a standing response. He wrote to his governor, and nothing happened there either. And all the way down the chain, he wasn't living in Louisville, and he would have got a response right away. But finally, he said, this is not going to work. He called his family and said, from now on, we're going to make a change. And they said, no way. So we said, I'll make a change. And before long, his, his family made a change. And then his community, and then his city, and then his state. And sure enough, the world changes when we do acts of life. It's not my honor and privilege to call upon a man who understands that Louisville is indeed a city of possibilities and compassion and light. Your good friend and mine, Mayor Greg Fisher. Thank you, Rabbi. Thank you, everybody, for coming out here tonight. The story of Hanukkah shows us how good overcomes bad and how lightness overcomes dark. Indeed, this country of ours was founded on the principle of religious freedom, of light. And I think I speak for everyone when I say how fortunate we are to be able to celebrate, to believe, to observe our holidays, our customs, and traditions in the ways that we choose, that no one tells us what we have to do. Our city value of compassion is more important than ever. The pain of the hate crime shootings that we saw in J-Town, that we saw in Pittsburgh, has been burned into our individual and collective consciousness. In the weeks since, I've heard from people of all ages, races, faiths, backgrounds, asking, what can I do? So many have come forward to share their empathy, their tears, their outrage, and their compassion for Vicki Lee Jones, for Marie Stoller, and Kelly, I thank you for being here. All of their families, and for the congregants of the Tree of Life Synagogue in Pittsburgh. And while there's no question we have been shaken by these events, our community has demonstrated the social muscle that people all across Louisville have spent years working together to build. And that's how I know we will be stronger than ever. And Louisville's message to the country and to the world is that we are welcoming, compassionate, and proudly diverse American city. We are one city with one future. We refuse to live in the fear or isolation. We refuse to give in or excuse racism, hatred, or anti-Semitism. For our city and our country to move forward with strength and unity, we must recognize that an attack on one of us is an attack on all of us. So we must confront and reject racism and hate in all of their forms. And this is the age-old fight that's with us, folks. Evil versus good, dark versus light. And it's one that many of you all here tonight and around this city have been fighting for a long time. But healing our city, healing our country, is a work of a city and a country on the rise. Our city is a city that believes in itself and its future. And I know it's a challenge that we will meet together by continuing to talk and listen to each other and by treating each other with respect and with dignity. In memory of those we've lost to hate, let's dedicate ourselves to the future of a city that we all deserve. A city of brothers and sisters joined by a common heart that's celebrating the beautiful human potential we all possess. Not strong enough. Together, we will find the way. Light will prevail. As we stand here on Fourth Street, this beautiful promenade, with bars on both sides, it's still a little chilly. 
If we had a little acai, it would warm us up. But having the bar there doesn't actually warm us. The same is with good deeds. There's acts of light, acts of goodness we can do all around us. But the opportunities doesn't brighten the world. We have to step up and do the right thing, add acts of light and kindness to the world, do them over and over, and spread that light throughout our city, our commonwealth, and our country. We'll now continue with the lighting of the first candle as we usher in the lightful holiday of Hanukkah. What for is 
Let there be peace on 